Hello and happy Sunday, everybody. It's Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. And are the comments going to work tonight? Let's be honest. Who was here just a few minutes ago? Who was here like an hour ago? And I was testing the comments. Who thought that I had forgotten to set my clock back and that we were going to start an hour early? Yeah. So I don't know if they do it in your state or not or in your country or not. But here in East Tennessee, we still have daylight saving time and we still end it. It still ends. So hopefully comments are going to work and I'm thinking that they're not going to because, oh, 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 yay, Rosie. Good. Awesome. Yay. Because I started to say there were like 22 of you all here and nobody was saying anything. So hello, Rosie. Hello, Irma. Hello, Betty. Yay. Comments are working. Awesome. I have no idea what I did to fix it though. No idea. So don't know if I could fix it again next time. But anyway, hello, Janice. Hello, Chris. And hello, um, Bernie. Oh, and Bernice's. Oh, Bernice thought I was an hour early. Hello, Barbara from the crossroads. So yeah, so we were testing the comments about an hour ago and I thought, hmm, you know what? I accidentally picked almost exactly an hour ago and I thought some people are going to think that I forgot to set my clock back. If you do, if you end daylight saving time and it's really hard for me to say that because my entire life i'm 52 years old and i thought that it was daylight savings time and i found out today that it is daylight saving time okay so now the comments are going super fast okay hold on so let's see hello lacy hello marianne from pennsylvania hello sandy from northeastern kansas hello claudie hello carol lou hello kim hello donna from st louis hello stacy hi star and hello sandra from dingman's ferry so I will pause and say this, if you are watching this live with us tonight, hey, hello, I hope that you will say hi. And if you are brand new, I hope that you will let us know so that we can welcome you. If you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. Or if you are, um, yeah, I'm gonna try not to fall asleep. Or if you're watching this later on Facebook, um, and if you don't wanna see the hi hellos, please feel free to take that little scroll bar and drag it over to about 10 minutes because that's when it kinda dies down. And I'm going to say that because I had somebody complain again last week about the hi hellos. I think I'm pretty clear that we're going to say hi and hello and you all enjoy it. So to anyone who's watching this later, if you don't want to see the hi hellos and if you insist on complaining about it, I'm going to block you. Okay, so the comments are coming up super fast now, which makes me think that this is a Facebook thing and not a me thing. So let me scroll back through here real quick. Let's see. Rosie says, please don't fall asleep during the talk. I know it is pitch black outside it was it got super dark super fast i don't like it at all i wish we wouldn't do it hello kim hello um sherry another sherry from connecticut hello lisa hello sylvia from canada hello sandy and sandy was here earlier for the test hello angela hello jennifer hello sherry hi carla hi evie hi janine hello peggy and don't forget if you're brand new let us know so that we can give you a shout out hello trish and let's see betty forgot and got up at 4 a.m instead of 5 a.m for work what? What? Wait, that's in the wrong direction, right? Hello, Andrea. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Sandra from, Ch from Chile, Chicago. Hello, Cindy from Covington, Virginia. Aloha, Kathy. Sandra says, love your hair. Thank you. I was, I don't know, just needed to do something different today. And I'm going to knock these bowls off that we're going to use here in a few minutes. Hello, Mary from Ontario, Canada. Hello, Brenda. Um, Barbara. I know, Barbara, somebody doesn't like the hellos. They can they need to hit the road. Hello, Vicky. Because, I mean, I think that's what makes... I don't know. That's what I love about our group. And hello, Loretta. So that's what I love about our meetings on Sunday nights is because we can say hi, hello, and it's like you all are here with me in the loft. Okay. But it is Sunday, and I'm just so excited to, that I can see comments that I forgot to say what day it was. So today is Sunday, November the 3rd. If you are in the part of the United States that ends daylight saving time, not savings time. If you were in that part of the country, we ended last night. So you are, let me think, if you didn't, if you forgot to turn your clocks back, then you would think, you would think that it was nine o'clock right now. No wonder I'm so tired. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, we got a new girl. We got a new girl. But let me scroll back. Let's see. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Loretta. Hello, Sonia. And Sonia is a new girl. S-O-N-J-A. Everybody, welcome, Sonia. Hello. Welcome to our group. Hello, Melanie. Um, let's see. Okay, good. Y'all already saw Sonia's. Um, hello, Debbie from Dark Orlando. So Orlando has ended daylight saving time. Yeah, so they are like us. Hello, Maria. Um, and yeah, so this is so weird. This is so weird that they're just like, I don't know, comments for me are going, at least they're showing up. So I'm not really complaining. But instead of coming up as you all are doing them, they're going, whoosh, it's like a page at a time. Anyway, I'll try to keep up. I will try really hard to keep up. But this is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. We can see comments tonight. Woohoo! 
and it is Sunday, November the 3rd, and it is the official end of daylight saving time. So, hopefully everybody survived Halloween. Did anybody have any problems with Halloween? We did not. Well, we had one tiny problem. Alyssa had candy for the first time. I would guess, based on her reaction, it's going to be a very long time before her mommy lets her have candy again. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and Loretta wants to go back to uh, to clicks ahead, yeah, to, to the clocks ahead. So thank you all for welcoming Sonia. That is very sweet of you. Hello, uh, Marilyn. Yeah, so you all still keep welcoming Sonia. Hello, Jen. Hello, Karen. Hello, Tag. Hello, Sandy. And hello, Lisa. That is so weird. And Debbie never got a notification of the chat. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. They're so weird. But anyway, anyway, we're here. So that's all that matters. Speaking of being here who was here last week so you all finished up you all wrapped up your 30 days of why last week so that was we started it on an odd day it wasn't exactly you know on the first and we're going to start a new one um, for november and it's not going to start exactly on the first but you all wrapped up your 30 days of why oh my gosh those were the best those were absolutely the best and those of you who did all 30 days um, you will be getting your gift soon if you've already sent me your information and for those of you who didn't shame on you shame on you just kidding just kidding but they were awesome and amazing and i will be sharing those and um, i've gotten permission i think from almost everybody to go ahead and share their whys i'd like to share them in a post so that y'all can um you know so that if you didn't get a chance to see all of them or as they started to fall off um you know in you know kind of in sequence in our group that you can go back and and see all of them and you can see you know some of the highlights from those i won't be able to post all of them but you'll be able to get you know some of the highlights of what was going on um yeah and this is so weird on the chat okay i mean on the on the comments so hello sandy um let's see vicky said she had trouble lisa said bought candy but nobody showed up but she didn't eat it very good hello stacy um loretta said it was a learning experience and let's see rita says was just let's see was just now able to click prior it would not let her i don't know what you mean like on the chat i know anyway facebook is so weird but anyway okay so we have quite a few people here so let's keep talking so the 30 days of why were absolutely awesome and amazing and we're going to keep sharing those you have a new one for this month we'll talk about it at the very end so we will do like we normally do we're going to talk about our meeting topics for our workshop topics sorry for the first 30 minutes and then for the second 30 minutes we're going to do our extra credit and because it does feel like it is open oh, there's dusty because it does feel like it's nine o'clock since we just changed our clocks back here in East Tennessee last night, um, may not make it the whole 30 minutes for the second part. I'm already, oh, you know, already a little bit yawny. Okay, let's see who else is talking down here. Let's see. Oh, Rita says it wouldn't let her enter the chat at first. So weird. Facebook is so weird. Yeah, I know. And Lynn, I noticed that. There's Are there really 135 people here? That's so weird. Okay, because it's been a long time since we've had over 100, had over 100 at one time. But anyway so last week who sat your bottom in a little chair so who went to a physical workshop and sat your bottom in a little chair if this is your first time here tonight first of all let us know because we would love to know um you know if you're new but if it's but this is what we do if you sat your sat your bottom in a little chair last week and attended a physical workshop or a meeting we used to call them i want you to do me a thumbs up so you can just go to the bottom of your chat window and you should have a little heart. You should have a thumbs up. Then you should have a heart. Then I think the next one is a smiling face maybe. And then the next one is a laughing face. Um, and let's see. Hold on. Hello, Marty. Let's see. Hello, Marty. Hello, Kathy. I know, Rosie. And let's see. Oh, and Barbara was here on her, on her anniversary of eight years on of last Monday. And her bottom was in a chair. Awesome. Thanks, Vicki. Irma says, yes. And Kim. But Kim, you both. Okay, so if you sat your bottom in a little chair, if you're new, thumbs up. Do a thumbs up. If you were here with us last week for the live chat, or if you did both, then it's a heart. And I'm seeing lots of thumbs ups. There should be quite a few hearts because there were quite a few of you here with me last week. Um, so getting a lot of both, a lot of both. Sandra did both. Marianne did both. Rita is a thumbs up. So she attended a meeting. Cindy, hello. Vicky's both. Loretta um, attended here with us. Or she did both. Okay, so keep it up, ladies. So last week, though, we were talking about setting goals within reach. And this was your weekly last week. Everybody remember that one? And everybody remember the delicata squash recipe that was from last week? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I have two delicata squash that are just dying to be eaten. So I can't wait. 
but last week we were talking about setting goals within reach. You all did pretty good on your homework. Not going to say that it was the best, you know, the most stellar week for homework, but it was kind of an odd one, you know, um, you know, trying to set, you know, trying to set some goals. So I don't know, it took a lot of extra thought, um, a lot of, oh, what are we congratulating Sandra for? Hold on, Sandra. Ooh, Sandra lost 2.6 pounds. Awesome. Yes, congratulations. Yeah, I know, Barbara, it's crazy. And um, hello, Angie. And Angie, I don't have on the Barbie glasses tonight, but I guess you can still call me Barbie. Um, hello, Patty. And... Yeah, and Sandy's congratulating Sandra. So that is awesome. Y'all are so awesome. Um, and yeah, I know Betty and I know Stacy. It's crazy. But anyway, okay, so we were talking about setting goals. So remember we talked about, you know, you, you're in kind of that honeymoon phase, you know, when you first set a goal and you think, you know, I'm going to walk every morning for an hour um, in the snow, uphill both ways, you know, and you're all pumped and excited, you know, and ready to go. And then the next morning comes and you oversleep or you forget, or you weren't quite ready, or the dog needed out before you got everything, you know, done, or like this morning, I know there were moms of toddlers everywhere that ended daylight, or babies, moms of babies, toddlers, and fur babies that daylight saving time ended, and the baby, toddler, or fur baby, their clock didn't get set, and so they were all up an hour earlier than everybody else. So something happened and you didn't get to do whatever it was, whatever your goal was, whatever the thing was that you were gonna get done. You know, and then we talked about how you feel about that and then maybe how you can change that goal, you know, how you can reset that goal and make, you know, tweak it a little bit, you know, so that you can make it happen um, and so that you can be successful with your goal. So quite a few of you did this. A lot of them seem to be around exercise or tracking or getting your water in. So that's what a lot of them seem to be, um, you know, seem to be around. And even Diana says delicata squash is her favorite. Her favorite. Hello, Melissa. Oh, Janice. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Hold on. I am not going to show the squash just yet, but I'll get it to remind myself. Okay. So actually the second half of the chat is all about things like this. So I will show the delicata squash in the second half. I promise you, I promise you. And Brenda, I don't know, the skin should not have been tough. Are you sure it was a delicata squash and not some other kind of squash secretly hiding in that bin? Because sometimes they put acorn squashes in, um, sometimes they put other winter squashes in with the delicata squash and they'll, you know, they'll have them mixed together. So I'll show you what it looks like so that you later, so that you can make sure, hello, happy Joel, so that you can make sure, and hello, Karen, so you can make sure that you had the right thing because it should not have been tough. It should be, have been absolutely soft, when, you know, by the time, by the time you got done. I think it's the only squash, well, Zucchini and yellow squash are considered squash, but those are summer squashes. I think, I'm pretty sure it's the only winter squash that I eat the, that I eat the peel. Pretty sure. Um, but I'll show you that later. But anyway, so that was what we talked about, um, uh, it, you know, last week. We were talking about, you know, setting goals and maybe how you could set it, you know, a little bit differently. Like, um, well, you know, we were talking about Casey's, you know, Casey's list and her planning that she made. Um, but yeah, so y'all did a pretty good job on your homework. Not the best job on your homework, but it was pretty darn good. Y'all did great though on finishing out your 30 days of why. And when we finish up this first part, we're going to talk about what we're going to do for November. This week though, we're talking about seven truths to get you moving more. So I know the, the time just changed here. So how many other people did your time change? How many other people, it was it pitch black outside at six o'clock tonight because your, because your daylight saving time ended? And I don't know, I just, I wish they would stop. I just really wish that they would stop, except I need them to stop in the daylight saving time on, you know, mode. Um, but by six o'clock here, it was pitch black and I absolutely cannot stand that. I can make myself get up and walk in the morning if it is, um, I can make myself get up in the morning and walk if it's uh, if it's darker outside in the morning, but oh my gosh, starting at about six o'clock, six, six thirty tonight, I was like, okay, it's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed. And it wasn't just because of the time change. It was because it was so dark. It was so dark. Oh, and it's, is Esther here? I saw somebody say hi to Esther. Hello, Esther. Esther, oh, is Esther is in the USA for eight weeks. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so it's not one o'clock in the morning there. So cool. So cool. Good, Esther. I'm glad for you, but still have to go to bed at a decent time. But anyway, so this week we were talking about seven truths. Oh, for the, I'm sorry, for the people who attended meetings last week, here are your Bravo stickers. And if you attended with us last week, here are your Bravo stickers or both double Bravo stickers. And if you did your homework, 
y'all get extra Bravo stickers because there weren't that many of you. Um, but this week we were talking about seven truths to get you moving more. So the time changing is not making me move more. I'm just going to say that. Just going to say that. And there's a ton of you all that are that are not happy about how, how dark it is getting early. But this is your weekly for this week. Um, if you did not if you did not get one, um, you can print them from online. It's a little harder to print them online. I don't know. They keep tweaking it. I wish they'd just leave it alone. You cannot print them from the app, though. You have to log on to your actual computer. Um, and by the way, we only have, we're not going to segue and start talking about this, but we have two, I think it's two more Sundays before we can talk about the new program. So nobody get nervous. Remember, I already posted something about this. Nobody get nervous. There's no reason to get nervous. And if you love freestyle, you're gonna love the new program, so there's no reason to get nervous. So, okay, don't ask me questions about it though, because we're not here to talk about that tonight. Just wanted to let you know that we've got about two weeks left before um, before that starts. And, um, whoop, and Esther's gonna join Weight Watchers or WW in the USA tomorrow. Awesome. And yes, um, yeah, so daylight savings time. I don't know what y'all are talking about. And it's not savings, it's saving, saving. Yeah, and Debbie, we voted for that too. We voted for that too, and yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not. Okay, but anyway, so the recipe on the back looks absolutely amazing. Looks so good, it has grits in it, and y'all know how much I love grits. Um, sorry I did not get to do my nails tonight. We just had too much going on, um, even though it doesn't take long to do them, so I'll, I'll get those done and show you all those later. But So this week we talked about seven truths to get you moving more. Okay, so I'm going to say, I'm going to give you all seven examples, and I want you all to tell me if it's the truth, or if it's, if it's truth or a myth. So is it fact or fiction? So um, is this fact or fiction? You have to exercise for an entire hour at one time or it doesn't count. <clears throat> so if you can't exercise for 60 minutes all at one time, it doesn't count. Is that fact or fiction? And I'm going to give you all just a second to answer these. Fact or fiction, you have to exercise for 60 minutes all at one time or it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. Hello, Janice. Okay, Rosie says fiction, Janice says fiction, Rita says fiction, Lourdes says fiction, Joyce says fiction. Smart ladies. You all are smart, smart ladies. You do absolutely do not have to exercise for 60 minutes for it to count. Any exercise counts. If you, if you can exercise, I mean, we would love it. Love it if you could get 30 to 60 minutes in a day. But anything, if you can get in four, 10 minutes, three, 10 minutes, three, 15 minutes, you know, if you could, you know, do something for 15 minutes when you're getting ready for work, something for 15 minutes at work, you know, get up, stroll around, take part of your lunchtime and do that. And then 15 minutes when you get home, all exercise counts, all of it counts. So it doesn't matter. It does not have to be, you do not have to say, well, I can't do it because, because I can't do it for 60 minutes in a row. Don't have to. Okay. The next one, fact or fiction. Fact or fiction, um, if you're going to get a good workout in, you have to go to a gym. You have to either go to a gym or like go to a, a workout facility or something like that. So is that fact or fiction? If you're going to get a good workout, you have to go somewhere where there's like a trainer, exercise equipment, swimming pool probably. Is that fact or fiction? And I'll get a drink of water while y'all are thinking about that one. Okay, looks like Marilyn says fiction. Marion, Marianne, Marilyn, Marilyn and Mary Ann say fiction. Rosie says fiction, Janice fiction, Joyce fiction, Loretta fiction, Stacy fiction, and Carol Lou fiction. Y'all are smart, smart, smart cookies. Okay, truth, you do not need a gym. You don't have to ha go to a gym. You don't even have to have fancy equipment. Um, you can do, you can hit your activity goal just by walking, um, using your own body weight. Um, you can play with your kids. You can walk the dog. There's a whole lot of stuff that you can do. And um, you can use, you know, cans from home. You know, you can use those as your weight. You can use your own body weight as weight. So yeah, you definitely do not need to go to a gym. You certainly can go to a gym. Um, that's perfectly fine, but you don't have to. So for people who think they can't, oh, I can't exercise because I don't have a gym membership. Not the truth. Not the truth. Okay. Fact or fiction. Fact or fiction. Even if you've never exercised, you can start today. So it doesn't matter if you're 20 years old or if you're 80 years old. Even if you've never done any kind of exercise, you can start today. Is that fact or fiction? Fact or fiction. 20 years old. I don't think we've got anybody under 20. 
20 years old or 80 years old, you can start. You can start today. Is that fact or fiction? Okay, Kim says fact, Rita says truth, Rosie says fact, Rita says fact, Carol Lou says fact, and Joyce says fact. Absolutely right. Again, y'all are so smart. So that is absolutely right. Start today. It does not matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. No, I don't want you, now I don't want you at your, you know, if you're starting, I don't want you to start at like, oh, I've got to start at 12,000 steps. No, you know, start Start small, but you can start, but you can start today. So it also, if you're, but if you're just starting out, do not pattern yourself after somebody who's been doing this for a long time. Like Karen and I have been walking for 24 years, I guess, <clears throat> you know, and we, there are lots of days that we walk, you know, sometimes we walk eight or 10,000 steps in one walk. We're not doing that every day. Please don't pat, if you're just starting, do start. You can start at any time, but maybe start with, 2,000 steps or if you're um, if you're swimming maybe start out you know with so many laps you know don't try to set yourself up you know against like a you know a, a competitive you know athlete or whatever um, but you know but start small but you can definitely start today you know if you've never ridden a bike start today if you've never roller skated start today you know you can start any of them today so that one definitely is that one definitely is a fact um, um, and Debbie reminds us if it's anything really strenuous check with your doctor first okay the next one um, that, let's see, is it fact or fiction um, that you have to do, that you, that, I'm sorry, is it fact or fiction that um, you shouldn't do strength training, that you should only do aerobic exercise? So fact or fiction, you should only do aerobic exercise, you should not do any strength training, that we're, you're only going to get, you're going to get more points, you're only going to earn points if you do aerobic activity, and that that strength training does not matter in your weight loss. Fact or fiction? I think that was confusing the way I said it. So fact or fiction, aerobic exercise is the only way that you're gonna get, that you're gonna lose weight. You, you're not, it's not gonna help you lose weight if you do strength training. Is that fact or fiction? <laughs> See, I thought this one was gonna be complicated, but apparently it's not, it's not, it's not throwing you all. Loretta says fiction, Jana says fiction, Joyce says fiction, Rita says fiction, Charlene says fiction, Sadie says fiction, Dinah says fiction, Tag says fiction, and Betty says false, and Debbie says fiction. Okay, y'all are exactly right. So aerobic exercise is burning calories as you're doing it. So that's, you know, while you're doing aerobic exercise, it is burning calories while you're doing it. But strength training, weight lifting, um, weight bearing exercises, you know, building your, you know, your core muscles, things like that, that do, that do strength training. Yes, that does two count because long after the, you know, your, your kind of, you know, your metabolism and your, you know, the rate that you're burning things has slowed back down again after your aerobic exercise, the strength training that you did is going to last longer, you know, so the, so the aerobic exercise is going to be like the hair, you know, it's going to be running to the finish line and the strength training is going to be more like the tortoise. So it's going to continue to burn, you know, some calories, you know, and it's going to make smaller, you know, it's going to make your mass smaller too, you know, as you do that. So strength training is a great thing. It is a great thing. And actually they've adjusted the points now on the fit points on your app so that strength training does count for, you know, for higher fit points than it used to. Because it used to be only aerobic activity, you know, that would, that would count, you know, that really gave you very many points. Okay. So the next thing you, okay, so is this fact or fiction? You have to be sweaty or, or you didn't, it didn't work. So um, we have a friend who does, uh, she does CrossFit. She's a CrossFit trainer. And we jokingly say that you haven't, that you have not exercised with her if you're not throwing up and crying by the time that you get done. But is that fact or fiction? Do you have to be sweaty and, you know, sometimes crying for the exercise to have been beneficial? Is that fact or fiction? Okay, lots of fictions. So we've got Evie says fiction, Dolly says fiction, Joyce says fiction, Sherry fiction, Loretta fiction, Sandy fiction, and Kim fiction. Okay, exactly right. It is fiction. You do not have to be a sweaty mess. So I know a lot of people who won't even try to exercise, like they won't try to do anything because they're like, it's going to mess up my hair and I'm going to have to take a shower afterwards. You know, there are lots of things that you can do that, that do count as exercise that do not make you sweaty. So if you just take a quick stroll around, you know, at work, um, there's a girl in our, in our um, physical workshop 
that when mail is misdelivered to her to her office, she walks it to where it goes. You know that that counts. She did not get sweaty. Um, but if and if you do something that you enjoy, you know, like I would not enjoy running. Not gonna happen. It is not gonna happen, and it's not because of the sweaty, and it's not because it's hard. But it's not gonna happen. Um, I do like some things, you know, that make you sweaty, and I and some activities I think should you know make you sweaty but there's nothing wrong with playing a game of badminton or bowling or you know or whatever but as long as you're doing something that you're good that you'll do that's fun you know that you enjoy and that you can stick with that's all that matters okay the next one um and i don't really understand what they um but he says she thinks fiction is her favorite word tonight yes it is um okay so this one um Timing, so fact or fiction, timing matters. So the timing, the timing of when you exercise matters. So this one would be more like, um, you know, that you have you have to exercise in the morning first, you know. So do you have to exercise in the morning first? Does timing matter? So like before meals, after meals, first thing in the morning, you know, whatever, does timing matter? So is that fact or fiction that timing does matter? What time of day you exercise matters? Let's see what you got. Fiction. Absolutely fiction. Yeah, Kim says fiction. Rita, fiction. Loretta, fiction. Suzette, fiction. And Dolly. Ooh, Dolly says fact. Okay, so Dolly. So why do you think it's so Dolly? I'm not picking on you, but why do you think that's a fact? Sandy, fiction. Charlotte, fiction. So I would say, I would say that it might be fact for somebody who... Like I do prefer to exercise in the morning first. If I exercise first in the morning, I'm much more likely to be more active throughout the day. Um, and I'm much more likely to stick with my, you know, with my eating plan, you know, throughout the whole day. But the fact of it is, the fact of the matter is you do not have to, you don't have to exercise first thing in the morning and you don't have to not exercise, you know, last thing at night, unless it's causing you some issues with sleep. It's any time, any time. The only reason to pick a time, so the only time that timing would matter is if it's a time when you can do it reliably, like you can do it, um, you know, on the same frequency, like, you know, I, I, and I, I'm better in the morning, and Karen and I have scheduled times that we walk. In that instance, timing would matter because, you know, if we don't pre-plan it, so if we don't pre-plan it, then, you um, then it's not going to happen, you know. So in that instance, timing would matter. But you do not have to do it early. So some people think you have to get up and exercise first to, um, uh, you know, to kind of get your metabolism working. So that is not, you know, that is not a fact. Okay. And um, the very last one, fact or fiction, um, you are only exercising to lose weight. So is that fact or fiction? That exercising, hello Sherry, hello I mean Tedders, sorry, hello Tedders, um, but you are only exercising to lose weight. So that would be the only, that's the only reason that you would exercise right now is to help with your weight loss. So is that fact or fiction? Jenna says fiction, Kim says fiction, Dolly says fiction, Joyce says fiction. Boy, a couple of y'all are really chatty tonight. Okay, that is fiction. So you are not just exercising. You're not just having some form of activity um, for your weight loss. You know, we do talk about activity a lot, and I think I think it is important. So uh, Dolly said earlier that it would help her rest better. Um, exactly. Yeah, exercise does help you rest better. It does help with. It can help with weight loss. It can help with your body shape because you know a pound of muscle is smaller than a you know than a pound of fat. It doesn't weigh less. But it's, you know, because a pound is a pound is a pound, but a pound of muscle takes up less space. You know, it's more dense, so it takes up less space. And um, maybe doing it for blood pressure, maybe doing it for mood, you know, because it can exercise and activity can be a mood enhancer. And, um, you know, sometimes you just need to go outside, you know, from work and just walk for a few minutes, you know, so you don't kill a coworker, you know. So it might be good for that, but that is absolutely fact. Um, activity is not just about weight loss. So, okay. Real quick before it's time to switch to the next one, your homework is going to be 
I want you to find one thing, just one thing that you thought was a fact about act, some kind of activity or exercise, something that you thought was a fact, and then what the truth, and then what the truth is, I mean, sorry, something that you, something that you thought you knew about exercise, um, and then what the real fact is. So like one of these things that we talked about, you know, just, you know, make up something if you have to, but I want you to put something down. Yep, hello Marlene. Um, so I want you to put down something that you always thought was true, but then you found out, oh, that's really not true. You know, like I thought you had to exercise at a certain time of day. That was, you know, something that I, that was something that I always had thought. And I always thought that you had to exercise for long periods of time, for years and years and years. If I did not have 45 to 60 minutes to carve out to exercise, I wouldn't even start because I thought, Psh, well, there's no point. There's no point. So I want you to find something that you thought was a fact, brought it down, tag me in it at, if you have an egg, tag me in it and then put, you know, write down what your, what the real truth is. Um, cause we need to share it. There are so many of these that people just didn't know, you know, they just don't, they just don't know. You all are smart and y'all have been around here for a while, you know, so you're very smart. So you all knew, but I promise you there's people out there that don't. And in our physical workshop, we had some people that were like, I don't know. And there were even a couple of the, a couple of the questions that when Gwen asked them, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if that's truth. I don't know if that's truth or not. Okay, so that is your homework for this week. Tag me in it. Again, it's at if you have an egg um, or if it's on Connect, it's at Scrap and Stamp 2. You'll find me. You'll have done a great job of tagging me, um, so I'm not going to um, overburden that. But real quick, before we switch to our extra credit, this month, so last month, the whole month of October and bleeding a little bit over into November, we did 30 days of why. So we did hashtag 30 days of why, and y'all had some amazing ones. Um, some were funny, some were sweet, some were tear jerkers. Um, we have watched the first 30 days of Peanuts Life, so that has been so fun, so fun to watch her change. I can't believe how much she's changed just in 30 days. Um, but this month, so starting today, we are going to go with the tradition of the 30 days of thanks. Since it is Thanksgiving here, and it will be Thanksgiving here in the United States at the end of the month. But here's what I want you to do differently. So I want you to do it every day for 30 days, and it's 30 days of thanks. And you can start today, you can start tomorrow, whatever day you start on, just keep going for 30 days. But I want you to do hashtag 30 days of thanks. Okay, but I didn't say 30 days of thanksgiving. I want it to be 30 days of thanks. I want you to say thanks to something. So I don't want you to say, I'm thankful for, you know, blah, 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 blah. I want you to say thank you and somebody upstairs, I hope they're okay. Anyway, um, like, you know, maybe, ha maybe mine for tomorrow would be, you know, my hashtag 30 days of thanks would be, you know, thank you knees because you get me up and down steps or thank you, Gwen, for, you know, for being such an amazing leader, or thank you, you know, but I want you to say thank you to something or to somebody, you know, um, I don't know, I think it makes it more, I don't know, it just seems like it makes it more personal, or um, I don't know, just if you say thank you to the thing, you know, like, thank you, thank you, Trader Joe's for having delicata squash this week. You know, that's what I want you to do for your 30 days of thanks. So this time, um, because I can't keep doing t-shirts every time, so this time Casey and I have come up with a full a full size sheet of sticker paper that has a bunch of all the different little, all the different Bravo things on there, and they're not pre-cut so that you can cut them to whatever size you want to if you're sticking them in a um, notebook, if you're going to just leave them on your refrigerator, whatever you're going to do with them, we're not pre-cutting them, but this time if you do the 30 days of thanks the whole month, then you're going to get a free um, set of Bravo stickers. So I hope everybody, will, and you'll be thankful for 30 things. So how cool is that? So everybody do the hashtag 30 days of thanks, um, and if you don't understand what we're doing, I'll put, I'll try to post it later. Um, but I have loved this. I have loved this so much having, having a goal for every day. And it's so funny because a couple of you all at the end of the 30 days of why you're like, Oh, Oh no, what am I going to do? We're at the end. So ta-da! now we have a new thing. Okay. So let's get ready. Let's get ready for the um, second part. Okay. And Marlene says she has sound, but no picture. So Marlene, I don't know. Facebook's been crazy. So I'll just, you know, I don't know. You just have to figure it out and somebody's going to have to help you. Okay, let me get a sip of water and then we'll start on the second part. So this is officially the end of your classroom portion. Um, take, give me a five second break and I'll be right back. And Barbara, it's time for water. Okay, so 
We are back. This is Kelly with If You Have an Egg.com, and this is part two, the extra credit of chat number 146, and it is Sunday, November the 3rd. So our extra credit portion, we have been talking about um, exercising and myths and tr truths and myths about exercising, but for our second portion tonight, we, I have had so many, 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 many questions. Um, you know, I get messages here. I get messages in our Facebook group. I get messages um, through Messenger. I get messages everywhere. And every day I get a question, you know, hey, Kelly, what was that? So this whole 30 minutes is going to be, hey, Kelly, what was that? Because I get so many of those. And I thought we'd just get a bunch of them, you know, out of the way um, here. Number one question. Number one question, hey Kelly, what was that air fryer that you were showing us? So since I can't bring this over here, I'll just point. That was, I get asked every single day what kind of air fryer I use or what that thing is. Um, and especially now that we have two of them in the showroom at Casey Kitchen Center, that is an air fryer. And the basket portion is in the dishwasher or I would show it to you, but that is an air fryer and we use a here, and in the um, in the showroom, we use the Simple Living Products 5.8 quart. And you can go online to Simple Living Products. I think it's just simplelivingproducts.com and order those. Um, but I love it. Um, I also have a Power XL air fryer. Um, I use it as a backup. It's been used a lot, but I use it as a backup now. The Simple Living Products. The reason I have switched like 100% to it, and we use it in the showroom is it's so easy to clean and um, you do season at first, but then it's super easy to clean. It is so quiet that when we're doing classes in the showroom or when we're doing them here, you can still hear, like you can like you can talk over the top of it. So anyway, that's what that is. So that's, my, that's the number one question that I get. The number two question that I get, hey Kelly, what was that, what was that group that you mentioned? The group that I mentioned is our If You Have an Egg closed Facebook group. And what that is for is this, where we're doing right now, the chats um, on the Facebook page, this is a this is a public forum. So everybody can see this, everybody can read this. But if you want to have somewhere where you can talk to some other like-minded people, normal people, and we do have a closed group, and it's just, it's If You Have an Egg, um, a Weight Watchers support group, and maybe somebody will do the link. I can I can um, do the link later. Um, but if you go, that's what that is about. Because people go every single day. Somebody says, "What was the group you were talking about?" But if you go there to join, you have to answer the three questions. Pretty 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 please. Because if you don't, I can't let you in. I don't have time to go back and research everybody's um, profiles to see you know to see what they are. Um, Wait, wait, Dolly said she was going to purchase a, wait, Dolly, where do you live? Okay, Dolly said she was going to purchase a, a um, an air fryer at Walmart, but then it said it would cause cancer. What, where do you live? Because if you live in California, everything's going to cause cancer. Sorry, people who live in California. Okay, next question. This right now, right now, this is a super popular question, and it was asked tonight. What is a delicata squash? This is a delicata squash. Okay, they don't, they are not always this orange. Sometimes they're a little bit more yellow. Sometimes they have green stripes in them, but they will always be this shape. You know, freshly cut. They will always be this shape. Um, usually about this size. Sometimes they're just a little bit smaller, um, but that is a delicata squash. So I do get that question a lot and we got it tonight. That is a delicata squash. Okay, next thing, hey Kelly, what did you cook your um, instant oatmeal or your quick cook oatmeal? What did you cook that in? Mine turned out funny. Mine turned out too tall. Mine turned out too lopsided. You know, whatever. What did you, you know, what did you cook that in? Um, let's see. Hold on a second. Melissa says, hey, Kelly. <laughs> see, hey, Kelly. What do we type to tag you in Facebook for sharing our goal? So, Melissa, if we are here, if it's here on the page, which is where we were watching this at live tonight, it is at, um, if, let's see, at if you have an egg. So it's just the at sign, and then if you have an egg, I'll run together, and it should pop up. If we're in our closed group, you type at Kelly Green Milligan, um, and it'll pop up. Or if you do the hashtag 30 days of thanks, I can search on those. 
yay, I can search on those and find you. Okay, but so the other question I got a lot this week was, hey, Kelly, what kind of, what did you cook your, that muffin in, the one that we made in the microwave last week? Because mine turned out too tall, too short, too fat, too runny, too whatever. Okay, so let me show you three different mugs. I also use these mugs to do my egg mugs. This one is a regular coffee mug. This is microwavable. So that's a regular coffee mug. This is a little short and fat coffee mug. This is not a mug, it's a little bowl. Okay, so the reason that I have three different things here, these are all microwavable. Um, these are, let's see, and Brenda says that was the squash you bought was smaller. Hmm, okay, well it should have worked out. And yes, Betty, that's the hashtag. Thank you. And Claudia, thank you for posting the group. So this kind of a mug, even though we, I call those, sometimes they're called mug cakes or like those are mug muffins. I didn't name them a mug muffin, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, or like a mug. Um, when I make the egg mugs, um, even though I call, even though I say a mug, I don't mean a tall coffee mug like this. You could do that. But some of you who are saying, mine, mine looked funny, probably because you used a tall one. So this is skinny. You know, this is kind of skinny. It's kind of skinny and tall. So you're going to end up with a really tall because it will grow in the microwave to fit your, to fit whatever mug. This little short and squat one might make it feel more like a muffin to you, you know, because it's short and it's a little bit fatter. This though is the bowl that I used. So last week when we were making all the different um, um, oatmeal muffins that we were making out of in either instant oatmeal or we were making out of a third of a cup of oatmeal, I used this little crock bowl um just it's just a little bit bigger and i do this a lot for the egg mugs too if i'm going to take them out just because it made a more squat you know one because again it's going to grow to fit it's going to grow to fit whatever dish you cook it in so that is what i cook mine in um and teresa oh teresa just got back from fall into wellness 5k yeah 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 awesome awesome i hope you did well i know you finished okay hey kelly what was the tea that you said to drink to stay asleep? Okay, so I didn't say it would keep you asleep. You know, we had a chat a few weeks ago about, um, about you know, ways to either fall asleep faster or to stay asleep, you know, or whatever. So this tea, everybody thinks this tea is going to keep them asleep. I don't know. It might. Um, I know that it not having caffeine, you know, is, is going to be good, you know, rather than drinking a, a um, caffeine tea. There are several different kinds, but the kind I used during that chat, and yes, I know this is backwards, it is Twinning's um, Nightly Calm. And so it has, it is caffeine free, first of all, and then it has, it's a comforting herbal tea made with sooth soothing chamomile, cooling spearmint, and the subtle flavor of lemongrass. So it is delicious. Um, it, I can make this into two cups, you know, easily, um, two, that would be the appropriate use of this kind of a mug. Um, but yeah, so that was the kind of tea. It was just Twinnings, um, nightly calm. And then I have used, uh, I'm not going to quote it cause it's, it's another brand, but I can't think, um, sleepy time, celestial seasonings, maybe sleepy time tea. Okay. And yes, I know Rosie 541 in California is dark already. Yeah. Happened here too. Okay. Hey Kelly, what are those little bowls that you have, that you use all the time? These little bowls are just little bowls. So I don't know why everybody's fascinated with these, but these are, there's nothing fancy about these. I got these at World Market for like 49 cents each. Um, I, what I like about them is, first of all, I can see what's in them. So when we're doing the chats and we're making something, I can see even without it, you know, looking in it, I can see what's in them. Um, they exactly hold a quarter of a cup and they were like 49 cents, I think, but at world market, but that's all these are. They're just little glass bowls, just little tiny glass bowls. Um, they do clean really easy, but that's all they are. Okay. So everybody seems fascinated by the bowls. And to tell you what, I'm going to set them over here so I don't knock them off and break them. Okay. Hey Kelly, what are those claws that everybody's talking about? So I'm suddenly addicted. Hello, Julie. I'm suddenly addicted. Um, Barbara, did you get Barbara saying, did you get the tea? You mean like, where did I get the tea? Because I think I got these at Food City, if I'm not mistaken, because there's one right across from work. Um, but everybody's saying, what are, what are these cloths you keep talking about? Okay, I'm like suddenly addicted to these. These are Swedish dish cloths. Both of these, well, this one has been washed probably, I don't know, 
I mean, I've probably used it 60 times, and this one's been through the dishwasher probably seven or eight times. This one I've used like 40 or 50 times, and it's been through the dishwasher um, six six times probably um because it go i put it through every week but it's just a it's just a dishcloth that's sturdy and um, it is biodegradable so when you're done with it like when it finally does start to fall apart several hundreds of times in i guess um then you can just throw it in the compost um but they have cute designs we do have these we do have these available um at casey kitchen center so if you're if you live here in town um you can come by and see me and you can come see my other two air fryers simple living products air fryers um but we do have these at the kitchen center and we have these online at kckitchencenter.com it's just kckitchencenter.com and i will say to the ladies who were trying to order Sorry, I messed up on the BOGO. You can use it now, and it's only got a week left, or it's got less than a week left. It has six days left, but it's just BOGO Fall, B-O-G-O -O Fall. Um, and Janice, did you try, so like, did you try to order it that day? Because I messed up. I don't know what I was thinking, but it said limit uses, and I was like, sure, because I thought it meant per person. So I said limit to two. Okay, that limited to two people. So... I've taken that off. I don't know why you would limit something to only two people, but anyway, so I've taken that off. So if you still want to look at them, you can. Okay, so the next one was, Kelly, what is that that you wash your fruit with? So followed quickly by, why are you washing your bananas? But you notice I picked up the bananas to show you. Okay, so what I'm washing my fruit with um, is... This is, I get it from Trader Joe's and it's just called fruit and vegetable wash. Um, they have it at, I think most grocery stores have it. <laughs> There's another brand called Fit. I've seen it um, a couple of places. We used to get the Fit for my dad. Um, he had to have it because he, um, since he was a kidney transplant patient, um, he had to wash all of his fruits and vegetables. Um, just because he had to, you know, because he didn't have an immune system. But I get the one from Trader Joe's um, just because it's a little, or the, we got, I'm sorry, we got my dad the fit because it was a spray. So he didn't have to, you know, he didn't have to wash them. Um, he could just spray the fruits and vegetables and then, you know, and then rinse them off and it was good to go. Um, but I like the one from Trader Joe's. I just fill up one side of my sink with cold water, put this in there. Um, well, I'll put this in there, fill it up with cold water and swish this around. It makes and it bubbles. It doesn't need to bubble, but I just like it when it bubbles. And then I dump all of the fruit that I just purchased in there, fruit or vegetables in there. Um, some of them I scrub, like potatoes I scrub, but like bananas i just swish them around and they're really good and then i rinse them off um and some things i pat dry some things i let air dry but it is from tr the one i use is from trader joe's and it is just fruit and vegetable wash it's inexpensive there um and it works for me excuse me it works for me so i like it that's always quickly followed by why do you wash your bananas you're not eating the peel okay while you all are exactly right um Oh, and some people use vinegar and water, like my Christy does that. Um, but um, and all, you don't have to get the you don't have to get the Trader Joe's brand. So they have it at I think all grocery stores have some brand of fruit and vegetable wash. And I and the Fit I have seen other places. And let me see, Betty uses Fit, and oh, Brenda wants to know if they have it at Walmart. <coughs> I'm not sure if the Fit brand is at. I'm not sure where all it is, and it doesn't have to be that brand. But the people who say, why do you wash your bananas? You're not going to, um, you're not eating the peel. You're exactly right. But, okay, A, um, I don't know what spiders have been crawling all over the bananas. Not trying to freak you all out, but where bananas grow, so do big hairy spiders. Um, but the real reason, I'm just kidding, the real reason that I wash my bananas and all the rest of my fruit is, you don't know who's been touching it. <coughs> Sorry, even from the point of the, um, Oh, sorry. Even from the point of just the, um, you know, where the fruit is harvested. But <clears throat> here's what I see more often than that. Like what I'm doing right now. So I'm coughing. Um, I'm coughing. I'm trying not to choke to death. I'm going to put something in my mouth. So to keep you from choking. Anyway, so I am coughing. And I'm coughing on my bananas. It is flu season here. And I'm sure it is everywhere. <clears throat> excuse me so people are coughing i don't want them coughing on my bananas or my other fruit the reason i wash my bananas even though i am not going to eat the peel 
I'm still going to touch the peel. I'm going to crack open my banana or some people open it from the bottom. To do that, I'm gonna peel the banana and then I'm gonna touch the fruit that's on the inside. So I'll wash the outsides of my bananas because of that. <coughs> we are not gonna have this coughing fit again tonight. Okay. Hmm, the second. Okay. The next thing is. Hey Kelly, when you say when you say use a little nonstick spray, what do you mean? Nonstick spray comes in all kinds of shapes and sizes and brands and you know whatever. I mainly use and you do not have to use these kind this kind, but I mainly use the Trader Joe's olive oil for things that are savory, the Trader Joe's coconut oil spray, um, for things that are sweet. Um, just a spritz. You're not neither, neither of them, no matter what brand you buy, you're not, whoosh, you're not coating it. You know, you're just doing, whoosh, 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 you know, just enough to get it, you know, just enough to get it coated. Um, but th those are the two that I use. I do get asked about that a lot. This one could take us the rest of the night. Hey Kelly, what was that nutritional yeast stuff you were talking about? Which is also quickly followed by, can I use regular brewer's yeast? No, 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 no. This is not even close to regular brewer's yeast. We do have several chats about this. We have talked and talked and talked about this. You can find out, as far as I'm concerned, everything that you need to know about nutritional yeast, you can find in another chat. But when I talk about nutritional yeast and I'm saying, you know, sprinkle it on whatever, like the pumpkin seeds. Um, oh, Casey has posted the air fryer pumpkin seed video is on YouTube now. Um, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg right now, today. It is the most recent video. Um, but I use this on those. Or like when I did the, um, the air fryer, the reheated pizza, the leftover pizza, when I did that, I put nutritional yeast on it. It just gives it a unique flavor. Um, it does have a lot of, it's chocked full of B vitamins. Um, it's really good for you. It's a great dietary supplement as long as you're not um, sensitive to niacin, which we do have popcorn Karen is. Um, and I know one other person on the planet who is, um, but it's, it is good. Yeah, Janice says it's good in grits. Um, oh wait, Sandra says washing your fruit also helps get rid of fruit fly eggs. Well, that's good to know. That's great to know. Janice loves her nutritional yeast. Joyce loves her nutritional yeast. It just has a, it just, I don't know, it just has a unique flavor. Um, it does crisp things up in the air fryer. Um, it, this is what makes that man's turkey tenderloin, that man's turkey tenderloin, between this and the air fryer. If it didn't have this on it and you didn't cook it in the air fryer, I don't know. Just wouldn't, just wouldn't be anything. But this is what I'm talking about. And it is, it is, they're just nutritional yeast flakes. It is not brewer's yeast. So that, if you can see it, that's what it looks like. That is what nutritional yeast looks like. Okay, but there are other chats, but I get asked about this daily, daily, daily. I have lots of questions about the chocolate chips that we used last week. Um, hey Kelly, what were those chocolate chips we used last week? They are Lily's, Lily's Dark chocolate chips and she does have others they are stevia sweetened 55 percent cocoa vegan and non-gmo these are the lowest point chocolate chips that i have found they are dark chocolate um she has some other flavors and things but i like dark chocolate and i'm not just sitting and eating the chocolate so I like that but for those of you who wanted to know what kind it is lily's lily's dark chocolate and no she does not have any coupons right now i asked for you all I asked if she did, and she did not have any, so let's see. Mm. Oh, yeah, and good. Yeah, it would be dry turkey. You're exactly, Debbie. Okay, next question. Why don't you ever, hey, Kelly, why, why don't you eat salt, and what do you use, you know, do you ever use salt, and then what do you use instead of salt? Okay, I don't eat much salt. A, because both of my parents had issues, um, complications from things, you know, that, or they had diseases 
um, that were complicated by sodium intake and it does make me puffy and I don't want to end up with that like that but if I do use salt I just use I use pink Himalayan salt don't know why uh, I guess because it's pink and I don't use very much of it you can see I haven't even I've had this I've had this well over a year well over a year probably close to two years I'm just now just now you can see it just now to right there so I don't use <coughs> I don't use much salt instead um, if you don't want to if you don't want to use a lot of salt um, I say find a good find a good herb blend um, find a good um, you know find some you know some some good blend of herbs you know or something that um, is gonna, going to give your food a lot of different flavor <clears throat> you know instead of the salt flavor two of my favorites I mean I love this all of these but two of my favorites the Dax seasonings and um, this one John has completely switched from pepper he's not we're not getting we used to grind fresh grind our pepper not anymore we've switched to the steakhouse this is so good on potatoes it's good on macaroni and cheese um this is just good on anything that pepper would be good on and then the dax everything but the salt if you like the everything but the bagel seasoning from trader joe's or i think there might be one other place that has it this tastes just like it but it doesn't have any salt in it so and this is dax you can get dax online at um DaxSpices.com, or we do have it at Casey Kitchen Center, um, that's you know here in Knoxville, or um, online at CaseyKitchenCenter.com. So those are my favorite spices. Um, hey Kelly, <clears throat> hey Kelly, what is that? that you, what is that stuff you put in your green beans? <clears throat> Another brag product, liquid aminos. Um, I understand there's a coconut aminos now, I think, and I have not tried that. But the liquid aminos, this is the best, best, best soy sauce replacement, Worcestershire sauce, if I'm saying that right, replacement. Um, everything like that, anything smoky that you want to have a smoky flavor. I use this in my green beans, and Alyssa eats them every single time. She will eat as many green beans as I can fix. But that's what this is. That is the liquid aminos. Yeah. So when I say liquid aminos, ask this a lot hey kelly what is the lowest point oil that you've ever found let me just break some news to you oil is oil is oil is oil is oil you're not going to find anything that's really significantly lower in points just be smart about you know about about your oil and you do need a little bit of oil in your diet i just use you know to try to find a really good extra virgin olive oil um this kind the filippo barrio i think that was at trader joe's and um, the last time i bought oil or I use Smart Balance um, for, you know, because some things you don't want, some things if they're sweet, if they're more sweet, you don't want olive oil, you know, so you use Smart Balance. So sorry to break the news to you guys, but oil is oil is oil. So yeah, you're not really going to find anything with much, you know, much significance in the difference. Um, and then the very last one is, hey Kelly, what are those little powders that you're constantly putting in things? So... People aren't saying what are the powders that you're putting in things, but um, like this, uh, the the uh, sweetener. So people ask, you know, what kind of sweetener um, <coughs> that we have? Oh, and I'm sorry, Rosie says um, not to have any soy because of inflammation. So she's going to try aminos. That sounds good. Um, Trivia baking blend. That is the sweetener that I put in everything. So I don't sweeten my coffee or, or my um, tea. Occasionally I'll have a little bit of honey in my tea, but I don't sweeten my coffee. But Trivia baking blend is what I use because it does have some real sugar in it. Um, it bakes up great. Um, I have not had any problems with it baking. I haven't had any problems with it putting it in. You know, it was in our um, packs that we made, our oatmeal packs that we made last week. Have not had any trouble with it. Has this nice little pour, excuse me, pour spout. Um, yeah, I really like it. So Trivia Baking Blend is the sweetener. And then the very last thing, excuse me, the very last thing, y'all ask me about peanut butter powder all the time. These are my two two favorites. The True Nut Powdered Peanut Butter with Coconut. Um, I love it because it has just a hint of coconut to it. And you can see I've used almost all of it. And then this one, I found the Full Circle. This is Chocolate Hazelnut peanut powder so I am not reconstituting excuse me let me just swipe up here and see if there's any new messages nope okay so I am not taking peanut butter powder peanut powder and reconstituting it into peanut butter mm -mm, no not at all I'll sprinkle this on bananas I put it in yogurt 
Um, I put it in some of my recipes, you know, to give it a peanut flavor. Um, it's just a lower, it's a lower point way to get some, you know, some peanut flavor. I tend to like the ones though that have some other kind of flavor enhanced with it, like this one, the true nut has the coconut and the um, full circle has the hazelnut. It's actually hazelnut powder. So, okay, those were the what Kellys that I had and um, there's lots more, but those are the ones that I seem to get the most questions about. Um, so if you have any questions, just, you know, feel free to ask me and um, I'll answer as quickly as I you know, possibly can. I did figure out that I had Messenger turned off apparently. <coughs> so some of you were sending me messages and I was not seeing them unless I went to Messenger and checked them. But yeah, so if you have a what Kelly, um, just you know, feel free to ask me and I will get you an answer as quickly as possible. And if I don't know the answer, I will find somebody who does. But don't forget to do your homework. Do not forget your 30 days of thanks. So thank some thing or somebody, you know, so say something like, you know, oh, thank you, Lilies, for coming out with such, you know, sweet, you know, dark chocolates or thank you, Nightly Calm Tea, Twinning's Nightly Calm Tea for keeping me asleep um, last night. But do thank somebody 30 days of thanks. Anybody that completes it, we'll do just like we did this time. I'll have you confirm that at the end of the 30 days. Um, and it doesn't matter if you start your 30 days today, tomorrow, the next day, you know, just do it sometime in this time period try not to go way far over um, and then you all get a sheet of our handcrafted bravo stickers that casey has so kindly come up with um okay so everybody have an awesome week um everybody know it is pitch 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 black outside and i feel like it's 10 o'clock and it's just nine o'clock so you'll get to hear me whine about that for the next couple of days but let us see dusty he is sacked out no sorry no dusty t no wait maybe maybe Maybe, because he's going, no, the time, the time didn't change. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, he's got to stretch first. Come on, they're waiting. They're waiting. Come on. Oh, I swear he gets heavier every Sunday. Okay, so here's our very sleepy boy. Y'all have an awesome week. Um, I hope you get your homework done. I hope you think of some things to be thankful for. Yeah, and hope you get all those turned in. So hashtag 30 days of why, uh, 30 days of why. We just finished that one. Hashtag 30 days of thanks. Y'all have a great week and we'll see you next Sunday. Good night. Oh, sorry. If you're watching this later on YouTube, don't forget to watch the next video. Let me think. Watch the next video. Hit subscribe and hit that little bell if you want to be notified. And then you can order a spreadshirt. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye.